Welcome to the third unit of this year. It's called Early American Civilizations and Cultures, and we're going to focus on the Inca, the Aztec, and the Iroquois. You can see on the map there, we have the Inca and the Aztec down in Central and South America, and then the Iroquois lived in upstate New York. So let's uh, take a look at a little closer at these three cultures. All right, about 9,500 years ago, some groups of Native Americans in Central and South America learned how to farm. And this was the beginning of civilizations in the Americas. What happened is um, these groups that learned how to farm became, a, they were able to settle down. They didn't have to run around chasing food. They stopped being nomads and they settled and they began to build cities. They began to create cultures that were more sedentary, meaning they stayed in one place. Um, they built stone cities versus wood and skin. And they, they were settled on becoming permanent. They grew such uh, crops as corn and in the south, in, in Mexico and south, they call it maize. They grew pumpkins, peppers, beans, squash, cotton, and tobacco. Um, and then, as this says, people could settle down in one area and not live as nomads. People needed to stay in one area so that they could plant their seeds, tend the crops, and harvest their crops. And they had to stay and defend those crops as well. And then human civilization began to develop in the Americas before farming, we have about roughly 20,000 years of Native Americans coming from Asia that stayed, remained nomads, hunter-gatherers. And once farming happened, then they could settle down. Um, take a look at these images here. We have very high-level activities going on. There's farming, which to us seems simple, but to these people, it's not. Uh, farming. There are religious ceremonies here, sacrificing people, uh, building of great cities with pyramids and um, other stone permanent buildings, and then government under an emperor. This idea of government <clears throat> and one person ruling or a group of people ruling um, became somewhat commonplace with these groups of people. There are your definitions. A nomad is a person who moves from place to place in search of food. That would be like the original, um, the original Asian people that came across the land bridge of Beringia. They came in search of food. And then once people became able to farm, they started to set up <clears throat> civilizations, which is an advanced culture with a religion, cities, government, a written language and social classes. If you remember from our last unit, um, those early humans lived during prehistory where they could not write their language. They did not know how to write. And now in the uh, Americas around six, seven thousand uh, BC, people begin building civilizations and by zero or 500 AD, their history starts to begin being recorded. Their history begins being recorded. Okay, there are three early American civilizations in Central and South America that we call empires. Those three civilizations are the Aztec, the Maya, and the Inca. And we're going to focus on the Inca and the Aztec. We're going to leave the Maya out. Um, these civilizations and other groups of Native Americans develop different and very unique cultures. None of these are the same. They may have similar features, but they are not the same group of people. They do not have a lot of the same ideas even. Um, so take a look. The, your definition of an empire is a group of nations or peoples ruled over by an emperor or empress. Usually it's a territory of great size, such as the Roman Empire. The British Empire, Greece was an empire for a while, um, and uh, Syria way back a couple thousand years ago. Uh, so these people, that, these empires here, the Aztec and the Inca, for example, notice the size of the land that they controlled. They controlled thousands of square miles. We're not talking 
one large city and then maybe some smaller outlying towns that are controlled. No, but instead it's thousands of miles and uh, people that are different from them, but they are still under the control of the Aztec leaders or the Inca leaders. Culture is the way of life for a group of people, and the cultures in Central and South America were different mainly due to the geography or the environment and the resources that they had. Culture includes a people's language, customs, religion, government, economy, traditions, etc. And a good example is with the Aztec, they used obsidian quite a bit. It's a rock, it's a volcanic rock that when broken and when sharpened, it, it's kind of like glass. It's basically volcanic glass. And the Aztec used that a lot because they had a lot of obsidian in their environment. Whereas the Inca over in the Andes Mountains, they did not have a lot of obsidian. So their weapons were made differently and their tools were made differently than the Aztec. Now both used tools and weapons and the basic type being spears and knives and arrows. Uh, but they were had some differences because of the natural resources found in their environment. So make sure you understand the connection between um, culture and the environment.